It's pretty dark in the mornings now, isn't it? Carol has all the details of how the weather's going to be. Morning. Good morning. This morning is a chilly start for some of us as well, particularly across the Highlands, northern and western parts of England and Wales, where temperatures are still hovering between freezing and 3 Celsius. And as well as that, there's some patchy mist and fog. Now, this week, the weather will remain fairly settled. It's going to be mostly dry. We're going to pull in a chilly wind and we'll have frost and fog as well. The wind direction is actually coming straight from Russia. You can see all this blue across northern Europe coming across our shores, pushing away the milder air. And we're going to start to import from tomorrow more of a northeasterly wind, so it will feel colder. Now, what we have today is high pressure nudging in from the west, but we've also got this weather front. This weather front's been producing some rain through the night across Northern Ireland and Scotland, and we still do have some rain from it across the Northern Isles, fringing in across Northern England. But it is going to be a weak feature as it continues its descent, moving southwards through the rest of the day. So ahead of it, beautiful start to the day, nippy, some patchy mist and fog, and behind it, it will also brighten up with just a few showers. But where we hang on to the weather front through the afternoon, you can see across a lot of northern England, we'll have a fair bit of cloud and also some light and patchy rain. Northwest England by then brightening up. Ahead of it, across southeast England, again, some beautiful blue skies around, Feeling chilly though, temperatures only about 14, it will feel cooler than it did yesterday and it's exactly the same for southwest England. Again, a fair bit of sunshine. Here's the tail end of that weather front producing some patchy rain across South Wales, North Wales back into the sunshine and for Northern Ireland, well you're not immune to a shower through the day but for most we'll miss them and it will remain sunny. And behind the rain across Scotland the sun will also come out but there will still be one or two showers, more especially in the northeast. Now, through the evening and overnight, there goes our weather front. But for a time, there'll be some sharp showers across eastern and northeastern England. Move to the west under clearer skies, it's going to be cold. Now, these temperatures are indicative of towns and cities being much lower than that in the countryside. So once again, a widespread frost, some patchy mist and fog forming. Some of that fog will be dense and it will also be freezing. So tomorrow, the fog will take its time to lift. But when it does, it's going to be another cracking day. A lot of sunshine around, a bit more cloud at times across parts of England that will be thick enough to produce the odd shower. And don't forget, we've got this northeasterly wind coming in, so it will also feel that bit colder. Then as we head on into Wednesday, still that nagging northeasterly coming in, but a lot of dry weather still, some sunny spells, favorable amounts of cloud, and a weather front and strengthening winds across the northwest will push into the northwest overnight Wednesday and into Thursday, Billy and Lou. Oh, thank you very much, Carol. It looks like it might be a little bit chilly. Absolutely. Well,